the SAS video tutorial on introduction to SQL via PROC SQL. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start learning about SQL and we're going to use the SAS framework as a basis for this. Uh, it's very difficult to set up a database on your own and I think from a statistics standpoint, that's probably not a bad thing to learn, but it's really not an introductory topic of setting up your own database and then being able to query from it and all of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the SQL that's available in SAS because we already know how to read data in and out of SAS and do things with data in SAS. So what we'll do is we use the Procua SQL environment in SAS to learn SQL. And the SQL is pretty much the same across all variants of SQL, so it should work fine. All right, so what I did is I have a lib name here, and this is going to set up a library for me uh, so that it points to my desktop. And I already have some data sets sitting on my desktop, so I'm going to navigate over to my library called Store, and you will see there's Auto Check and Store Revenue. So these are two data sets that I want to look at. I'm going to look at Store Revenue first, which is the storeinfo1.csv found on the repository. So you can go and grab that if you don't have it already, import it in, and make a library called store and import it into that library. You have to go look at some other videos on how to do that. All right, so every PROC SQL starts with PROC SQL and ends with quit. All your statements must exist inside of here. And the most simple SQL statement is the select statement. So you're going to select, and I'm going to use the star, which means everything. And then you just put from where you want it to come from. So my data set is the store.storerevenue data set. If I can type it right. Okay. And then at the end of your SQL statement is where you put the semicolon. Okay. So just keep that in mind. You're going to have a PROC SQL statement. And you can actually have multiple ones in the same PROC SQL. But every time you're done with a task in SQL, this is where you're going to put your semicolon. So if I run this real quick. You will see, here's my data set. I have store, I have revenue. Here's the store, here's the revenue. So it's easy for me to get. Now what I want to do is I want to do some data checking with this. And so what we're going to do first is learn one or two other statements that will help us create uh, better analyses. Because this just gives me everything. And that auto check data set, it's really big. It won't actually open in my Excel. It, Excel just says, no, I'm not going to show you everything. So that's why we need uh, SQL and large databases. All right, so the next statement that we probably want to do, other than the select, and everything revolves around select, is PROC SQL, and then we'll do select star, and I'm going to do the same thing as before from the same table, store.store revenue. And then what I'm going to do is where store is equal to, and then I'm going to put in quote, CI1. So CI1 is the name of a store. And notice I was stupid over here and put a semicolon because I saw it above. Okay, now you can see everything's highlighted correctly and then put quit. Now, if I do this, this should create an output window that shows me my information. And you see there's a small table down here and you can see there's two values for CI1. And we don't know which is which, but it does have some revenue associated with it. So we probably will need to play with this a little bit more in order to be able to work with it. But it does allow us to subset big data sets really, really fast and really, really easily. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is, in this tutorial, is create a table. So what we're going to do is PROC SQL. We're just going to take the what we have above here, this same query, and we're going to create a uh, table out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create table. That's what the uh, table. And then you're going to give the table a name. So I'm going to call it store dot, um, let's say, store ci1. Okay. And then you're going to put as. Okay. So you're creating this table, its name, and then as, and then you put the SQL statements. So select star from store dot store revenue and then where store equals ci1 okay so this should create us a new table that's in the store directory named store ci1 it's going to select everything at all the columns so this means all the columns from this table 
and where this condition is met. So let's run this real quick. And sure enough, it should create this. And if I come over here, I see store CI1 in my store directory, and there are the two values. All right, so this gets us started on how to use Proc SQL. Now we'll continue on and we'll learn how to do other things with Proc SQL, but these are the basics. Everything's gonna revolve around a select or uh, well, everything revolves around select and from, okay? Uh, we're gonna learn how to do some other things as well, but we need to be able to create tables and we'll learn how to insert into tables. We'll learn how to do some other basic functions uh, in SQL. It's not comprehensive, but at least it should get you going and get you familiar with how SQL statement works and what kind of output you should expect. All right, so let's move on to the next video.